This is a discussion of how to add a taxon name and classification to worms via Arctos. The only classifications and names that we add are those that have an Appia ID in worms. And I'm pointing out here the Appia ID for Bursa awatai. Bursa awatai is in worms via Arctos. However, it is now unaccepted and we want to update our record for this species. If we check into the accepted name, we then go and look to see whether or not that is in Arctos. So if we go to Arctos and we enter that name and search, we find no taxon name is found. So we're going to need to create a new name and classification. To do that, we click on create a new name and always, if possible, copy paste directly from worms into our taxon name field. We're going to choose Linnaean as the taxon name type and click create name. Adding the classification, we have several options, but we're going to just create a classification. And we're going to say that our source is worms via Arctos. And the term type that we're going to enter is the Appia ID. Appia's, Appia IDs control the entire classification. If we go back to worms, we can copy that Appia ID directly from worms, again, just to ensure accuracy and paste it into the classification. We then click Create Classification. And when we go back and view the taxon page, we now have a taxon page for the species, but we have only one worms without any classification. To secure a classification, we click Refresh, and then click Success, and we reload. When we do that, we will find everything comes up, and we also can do a double check to make sure that we have an accurate name without any typos in it. If we want to, we can refresh all of the global names to see whether or not any other sources come up. And in this case, we pick up several other sources, the World Register, uh, GBIF, and the Catalog of Life as well. The other thing that may happen automatically, but we can go ahead and make certain it does, is we want to link this as a valid name to, here's our valid name, back to the Bursa name that it is replacing. So we can go into edit name and related data and indicate that it is a synonym of, and our name was Bursa Awati. And our authority on that is worms. So we'll create that relationship and return again to our original taxonomic page. The other thing we need to do is go back to Bursa Awati. And then when we get back to that, we wanna make sure that this has been changed to be the invalid one. And when we look, we see that certainly it has been changed to invalid and it does show the preferred name. And it has the link back to its synonym as well.